I've been playing quite a bit of Crusaders of Crypto lately. I've even tried out my luck in tournaments. I haven't done so well, but I know the strategy at least getting to the boss and beat them. And I haven't tried some of the new game modes that I was going to show off today. So we've got a new tab right here called Home Dungeon. And basically, it's a spot that you can use to claim loot as well as some of the other new features like checking out the NFTs and even some of the new PvP D that's coming up. But I've been able to grab quite a bit of loot as you can see. I ended up picking up my BNB reward a little while back and you basically get that from holding the token which I've kind of done since I did the video and it's treated me relatively well. I've taken some profits already as well as rebought a couple times and I'm fairly happy with the performance. So the game itself has changed quite a bit since the last video that I did. If we go into the delve mode, you're going to see there's four modes altogether now. Normal, hard, expert, and event. Event is like the tournament, so it gets to be the custom levels that, that the developers put together for competitions to pay out these BNB prize rewards, as well as the normal, hard, and expert. Now, I've not tried any of these. But today we're going to be going through normal and I'm just going to give you some strategy on how to actually beat the boss if you haven't been able to do that. Alright, so first item up for bid is the little necklace and we're going to get some life drain off of that. First room is a chest room which is really really good. Now, we can do a few things with this. See this, this little spider creature here? When he starts to aggro, there's a way to actually score on him. If he hits you, he kills you instantly. But He's going to, as long as he's active, he's going to move seven times altogether. On the seventh turn, he's going to die. So if you can hit him on the seventh turn, you're actually going to get the points or score from killing him. So one, two, three, four, five. And if we use a potion, a turn will pass. Six, he moves closer to us. And on seven, you can hit him once and he dies. Which is, uh, which is really, really cool. I I'd always avoided them before, but... Uh, a little while back, somebody said, hey, you know, you can uh, you can kill those guys for score. I was like, that's really cool. Okay, so we got dagger, which means we have a weapon and a way to drain a little bit of life right here. That's cool. There's only a few other artifacts that we can get in the dungeon, but we'd rather close all the gaps and avoid as much damage as possible to get to that point. So that when he, we get all the chests, that's another great weapon that I really love is the staff. Uh, the dagger does a lot of damage to some enemies, but the biggest, I think one of the biggest threats as far as the tankiness of a monster are those golem creatures. And you can either have the mace or the staff that does relatively good damage to him. The mace does the best, but the staff is definitely second to best. The dagger is just as effective as actually punching it, which it kind of sucks when you get down to it. Uh, they could do a lot, a lot of damage to you if you just go toe to toe with them and you don't have the right weapon. So I tend to try to avoid them until I do get the right weapon, which is uh, one of the other ones. So it looks like we have just this creature. I think I'm going to use one of these potions. Let him get close to me. All right. And there's another chest. Perfect. Now these little green bottle guys, uh, there's the shield. These little green bottle guys, every time they take a turn, they'll heal things that are adjacent to them. If you move too far away from them though, while they're chasing you, they'll start doing area of effect damage and hurting you really, really, really bad. So you wanna take care of these guys as soon as possible. They're not really, really hard to kill too. So there's the stairway, but we do have a little bit of dungeon left to explore and it's very important that we get all of the gear that we can so we're really looking for the regeneration armor and we'll try to move forward from that so there is the next chest and i don't really know if that's going to be the armor or if that is going to be the mace because we haven't found that yet let's see these guys don't hit really hard so i'm trying to save my consumables because we're getting close to the boss fight and there is my uh item now we can go down here and get another consumable here, but I'm not really sure if it's worth it. If I would be doing any kind of competition here, I would want to get the maximum score possible. So you'd want to kill all enemies. But right now, just for the sake of argument, we have all of the artifacts that we can get on board and we actually know where the staircase is. So I'm just going to shortcut to there and show you guys the boss fight. All right, so we have a few potions ahead of us. So I'm going to go ahead and go down here. Now, this is a new boss. The last time we showed this video, it was actually Flash Lonious, but this boss is a skeleton that's going to go through a few different phases of combat. So we'll see if we could beat him. I do have relatively limited potions here, but 
what you'll want to do here is try to close the gap to where he moves and then we'll do as much damage as possible. We hit him three, four times and it teleports us to this room. Now, this is the first phase. It kind of shows you, it gives you a hint. It took me a little while to figure this out, but it gives you a hint on what is gonna happen in the next room. So you wanna remember these, the red skeleton with, or the red skull with the horns and the purple glowing skull. What you can do is take a screenshot here. What I use is Windows Shift S and I'll go ahead and just copy this and then I'll paste it into MS Paint or you could use Photoshop or whatever you like to use. But essentially, you can't kill these. You have to kill everything else in the next room except for these. If you do hit these to kill them, they'll do like 30 points of damage to you, which you don't want. So red jumping skull, <laughs> red horn skull, and purple skull. So red horn skull and purple skull. This guy and this guy. So we can kill every other one. And we'll do that one, that one, that one. It doesn't matter if the area of effect from your staff is hitting things. It really doesn't matter. We'll do the gold one, and after I kill this last one, the skeleton is gonna appear right here. So I'll go ahead and kill that one and hit it two, three, four times. So now we're in the next room, and this is the second phase. Now we got one more of these to go after this one. I'll just do the same thing and paste it. You'll see that I have it just pasted in MS Paint, and the same thing applies. So we'll wanna kill the purple ones this time, the green one, and the... Let's see, black? No, <laughs> we don't want that one. The green, and the purple, and the purple, and the gold. That's it. So now he appears, and let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay. He took a little bit more damage, and so, now I've got all six of them right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing I did earlier, and I think it's the green one and the black one are the only ones that I'll actually be able to attack here, but I'll see. So green and black, and green, and the black one. There he is, and one, two, three, four. Now, this is a tricky part. You're gonna have to heal quite a bit to get to kill him because he's gonna be doing damage to you at a range every single turn that passes. So if I would have been a smarter, I would have actually used a consumable that would have healed me over time first, but I think we're gonna go ahead and use one of the small regens here. And you see how he just did like three points of damage. We're gonna move towards him. He's gonna heal again and do damage to us. So we have to two, three, Four, five, six, seven, and we killed him. So, seven hits, seven or eight hits sometimes I think it takes, and you actually win the level. Now, if I would have went through all of the rooms or played on any other difficulties, these scores would be different. But from the boss score, you get 10,000. The damage or the amount of damage that I've done, you get 3,000 points. The kill scores for all of the kills, I got 25, so my total score is 38,000. So, you wanna basically be able to save and share this, and you will that's how you compete in any of the, the contests that they have. You'll even have a URL that you can copy to share on your social media or whatever, as well as showing off what the score was for the share. So. That's essentially the new updates for the Delve mode. We're gonna be checking out Expert and Hard uh, a little bit further down the road and also doing some competitions. I've really, really had a lot of fun with the game. I hope you have too, and I hope you've been earning some BNB &B from the competitions or at the very least holding the token. At any rate, guys, that's all for now. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Little Jin signing off. We'll see you next time.